All right, Stacy, thank you. This holiday season, we're also celebrating the diversity in Colorado. Some of the earliest European immigrants to the Front Range were from Scandinavia. And those traditions remain strong today. Denver 7's Angelica Albaladejo brings us a glimpse at the food and the decor that makes their Christmas so special. Christmas is a big deal. As growing up, it was a huge family thing, you know, and it's always good food. I try to bring that here so that people feel like they're part of a family away from family. At Anna Fanakra's bakery. I came back. You know I would. Spiced sweets bring back holiday memories. I grew up in Norway, and the whole time I've lived here, I've looked for somewhere to buy this kind of stuff. Couldn't find it anywhere. So she started baking herself. We put cardamom in all of our sweet dough, and that's a very Scandinavian in general. Cardamom and cinnamon and vanilla. It's taken a long time to, to figure out what works at high altitude. Something home bakers like Kar and Struk deal with too. When she came to Colorado in the 1970s. I was very, very lucky to meet another Swede. She says, I'm going to give share my recipes. Almost 50 years later. I still use the same recipes. And Karin and her husband William still celebrate Christmas the Swedish way. I always told our children that Sweden is so close to the North Pole, so Santa Claus comes to Sweden first and the Scandinavian countries, and then he goes across the ocean over here, but he doesn't make it here until the 25th. From November to January, Karin decorates every room with candles. Sweden is so dark in the winter, the days are so short. People have candles everywhere. This candelabra has been in her family for 120 years. You need something that feels good. Like handmade wreaths and lots of wooden figurines. The little guys with that look like little Santa Clauses. I really don't know how to celebrate Christmas as an American anymore. <laughs> We've progressed past the children into the grandchildren. The boys love their more more. That's more more. That's mother's mother. It's my grandma's recipe. Family traditions Anna hopes to share with Coloradans, Scandinavian or not. I love that we've come together with the community that I kind of started it for. But my favorite part of all of it is that we are very inclusive. Reporting for Denver 7. Thanks so much for coming in. I hope you enjoy it. I'm Angelica Albaladejo.